First Samuel 12, And Shemuel said to all Yisrael, Look, I have listened to your voice in all that you said to me, and have set a king over you. And now, look, the king is walking before you, and I am old and gray. And look, my sons are with you, and I have walked before you from my youth to this day. Look, here I am, witness against me before Yahuwah and before his anointed. Whose ox have I taken, or whose donkey have I taken, or whom have I oppressed? Whom have I abused, or from whose hand have I received any bribe with which to blind my eyes? Then I restore it to you. And they said, You have not oppressed us or abused us, nor have you taken any bribe from anyone's hand. So he said to them, Yahuwah is witness against you, and his anointed is witness today, that you have found naught in my hand. And they answered, He is witness. And Shemal said to the people, It is Yahuwah who appointed Musha and Aharon, and who brought your fathers up from the land of Mitzrim. And now stand still, so that I judge you before Yahuwah concerning all the obedient acts of Yahuwah, which he did to you and your fathers. When Yakub had come to Mitzrim, and your fathers cried out to Yahuwah, then Yahuwah sent Musha and Aharon, who brought your fathers out of Mitzrim and made them dwell in this place. But they forgot Yahuwah, their Allahim. So he sold them into the hand of Sisera, commander of the army of Katsor, and into the hand of the Philistim, and into the hand of the king of Moab. And they fought against them, and they cried out to Yahuwah, and said, We have sinned, because we have forsaken Yahuwah, and served the Baalim and the Ashtaroth. And now deliver us from the hand of our enemies, and we serve you. And Yahuwah sent Gideon, and Badon, and Yiftak, and Shemwal, and delivered you out of the hand of your enemies round about, and you dwelt in safety. And when you saw that Nakash king of the children of Ammon came against you, you said to me, No, but let a king reign over us, when Yahuwah your Allahim was your king. And now, here is the king whom you have chosen, and whom you have asked. And see, Yahuwah has set a king over you. If you fear Yahuwah, and shall serve him, and obey his voice, and not rebel against the command of Yahuwah, then both you and the king who reigns over you shall follow Yahuwah, your Allahim. But if you do not obey the voice of Yahuwah, and shall rebel against the command of Yahuwah, then the hand of Yahuwah shall be against you, as it was against your fathers. And now stand and see this great matter, which Yahuwah does before your eyes. Is today not the wheat harvest? Let me call to Yahuwah, so that he sends thunder and rain. Know then, and see that your evil is great, which you have done in the eyes of Yahuwah, in asking for yourselves a king. And Shemuel called to Yahuwah, and Yahuwah sent thunder and rain that day. And all the people greatly feared Yahuwah and Shemuel. And all the people said to Shemuel, Pray for your servants to Yahuwah your Allahim, that we do not die. For we have added to all our sins this evil of asking for ourselves a king. And Shemuel said to the people, Do not fear you have done all this evil. Only do not turn aside from following Yahuwah, and you shall serve Yahuwah with all your heart. And do not turn aside after worthless things which do not profit or deliver, for they are worthless. For Yahuwah would not cast away his people for his great name's sake, seeing it has pleased Yahuwah to make you his people. Also, as for me, far be it from me that I should sin against Yahuwah in ceasing to pray for you. But I shall teach you the good and straight way. Only fear Yahuwah, and you shall serve him in truth with all your heart, for consider what marvels he has done for you. But if you persist in doing evil, both you and your king are consumed. 